Now, one thing that I noticed recently, and I and I and it was really neat that I, you know, last on Saturday I was kind of up high, and then I got to be down lower on for the Snake Eyes tapings. And I've been I've been watching you for a long time. Your body changed a lot. I mean, it seems like you've been really putting a lot of time into the gym, you know. And I and I heard some people were really pushing you to to change your physique a little bit. And dude, you look good. Uh, what prompted you to really put the time in in the gym to get yourself in in to look that great? Uh, it's funny because the last um, interview I just did, she asked the same question to Nisa. So, 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 so Dado, I think. Hopefully, I'm not butchering her last name. Um, but uh, one of the, to, to, I'm gonna give you a full answer to this question. One of the reasons why I decided to stay with. Um, TNA and not leave to go elsewhere is because of my relationship with Scott Demore. Um, now, um, Scott Demore, we we have several different relationships. We have um, the boss talent relationship. We have the mental poop people re- relationship. We we have the big brother little brother relationship, and then we have the best friend relationship you know and it's one of those things where if i went elsewhere my relationship whoever my boss would would strictly just be boss employee relationship right so if i needed any friendly advice or brotherly advice i couldn't go to whoever my boss is i would have to go elsewhere you know well with tna if i need if i'm having family problems i could call scott if I, if I need to talk to somebody as a friend, I could call Scott. If I need business um, advice, Scott is a very successful businessman. I could call Scott. Um, if I have issues with work, he's my boss. I could call Scott. So it's kind of like four different relationships in one, right? Um, so to answer your question, um, I remember at a taping we was in, and Scott pulled me aside. It was like, man, I remember the time I used to see your abs. Um, what happened, dude? He was like, yeah. <laughs> and I looked wow. at him, and I was like, oh, you son of a, uh, <laughs> you son of a gun. Uh, he was like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, you, you look okay, but you could look a lot better like you used to do. And uh, I was like, you know what? That's you trying to tell me I'm a fat ass. And I know you, you're not gonna, <laughs> you, you're not gonna call me a fat ass, but you're gonna give me little you know what i'm saying you're gonna say little sl- subliminal shots to make me feel that way so and i'm happy he did and and scott has always been real with me and he's like scott has is one of those guys that if i do something bad he's gonna be like yeah that was bad he's not gonna beat around the bush he's not gonna you know what i'm saying like he's gonna and that's the relationship we have and that's the kind of that's how i like people to push me um, obviously, I played in the NFL for seven years, and that's how I was so successful in that sport because I had coaches who, if I did something bad, they would be like, hey, Moose, you suck. Get better. <laughs> and that's kind of the relationship Scott, me and Scott has is, hey, you're chubby. You know what I'm saying? Let's get back to it. Like, I know you have it in you. Let's do it. And he told me that, and I was like, you know what? it's time to get back to work. And it took me 10 weeks to transform. Um, and I'm, that's why I, I'm, I'm, I'm here now. Very nice. Which is funny <laughs> because of the first transformation I had, which three years ago, it was, Scott was the reason why I made that transformation. He sent me a picture with no words. And when I tried to call him back, he wouldn't pick up. And I was <laughs> like, Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I I'm a, I gotta I gotta I gotta dial it in and try to lose weight and that I, I made a transformation then and he did it again so um, I love Scott to death um, probably the, one of the only guys one of the few guys in our roster I would take a bullet for um, I'm glad to call him call him a friend my boss and a brother. <laughs> 